Well, here we are at the beginning of the holiday season, a time for many to be with family, each celebrating in their own ways. And in what's become our holiday tradition, we've joined a family of sorts. A big volunteer construction crew, building for a worthy cause. And we'll tell you all about it if you just hop in and travel with us. I'm Kelly Phillips. And I'm Bob Phillips. And this is Mueller's Helping Hand, a special edition of Texas Country Reporter. Now, most of the time, Mueller is a company that makes and sells metal buildings and metal roofs. But once a year, they actually build a building and give it away to a deserving nonprofit group. Applications pour in from across the state, and we travel around and help them narrow it down to a few finalists. In New Braunfels, the Comal County Family Violence Shelter is a safe haven for victims of domestic abuse. Their secure facility receives people 24 hours a day, where they cover all short-term needs until people find a stable, long-term home. Also in the Hill Country is True Light 127 Ministries. They help place children for foster care and adoption while supporting those families with skills classes and activities. Their new youth village will be the only emergency shelter for foster kids in Guadalupe County. Out on the high plains of Texas, Refuge Services provides equine assisted therapy to folks in and around the Lubbock area. From physical therapy to child development to PTSD counseling, their clients heal physically and mentally by working with horses. And in the middle of a residential Lubbock neighborhood, Family Counseling Services is an affordable alternative to high-priced therapy. Their team of counselors covers anxiety, depression, addiction, relationships, and trauma, regardless of a patient's financial means. So how do you pick just one? Well, how much time do you have? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we'll just skip to the good part and tell you who's getting a brand new building next. Welcome back to Mueller's Helping Hand, a special edition of TCR. In the spring, we toured the state in search of a nonprofit in need of a brand new building. And when we found a group with unbridled enthusiasm for changing lives, we knew that Refuge Services was the right choice. As the morning sun rises over Lubbock, here at Refuge Services, there are chores to get done. It's quiet in these early hours. The only sound coming from a lone cowboy working his way through the barn as hungry horses wait to be fed. They're just really honest, and they give them honest and clear feedback. And they don't speak English, but all horses around the world speak the same language, it's body language. Director Randy Mandrell is fluent in this language. He grew up around horses and now manages some 40 acres of pastures and pens. It's here he and his wife Patty have been practicing equine assisted psychotherapy, better known as EAP, for 20 years. Randy's knowledge of horses and Patty's counseling expertise combine with these majestic creatures to make the perfect formula for refuge services success. And there's just something about the horses that they're forgiving. Um, they don't care who you are in the past, what you're going to be in the future. It's about who you are right now with them. Um, so they don't judge you. 
I've often said that if we could be more like a horse, the world would be a better place. I can't think how many people have said, whether they're a rider or someone working on mental health issues, is that they comment about how much they feel the peace when they're out here with the horses. And, and many have said, well, I know why you call it refuge, because this is my refuge. This is a place to get away from the, the challenges of life. Um, and the horses just provide that naturally. They're just being themselves. The clients Randy and Patty see are often overcoming physical or mental wounds that medications and other therapies just can't seem to mend. That's where Refuge Services steps in, restoring people's lives through lessons learned in the riding arena. We have physical disabilities. We've got um, cognitive disabilities, learning disabilities, um, family issues, you know, depression, anxiety, addiction, post-traumatic stress. It's, it's very broad, and that's what I love about this work. It's, it's not just one situation that can benefit. It's so diverse, and the benefits are so unique to each one. Um, and, and the horses are themselves, but they meet every single person where they're at. Every person relates to horses in a different way, but one thing's for certain, horses can bring light to dark times. Miguel Servan, a 30-year-old who's been dealing with cerebral palsy his whole life, knows all too well what dark times look like. That is, until he found Refuge Services six years ago and discovered the power behind this unique therapy. I feel like I'm myself, like I get to experience other things that people can walk, that can do, like they can get on the horse, I can get on the horse, I can ride the horse by myself, I don't need nobody to hold the horse, I feel like I, I can walk, you know, I feel like I can just jump off the horse and take off, but I'm, I'm grateful for, for having the opportunity of being able to feel as a, a little bit of an independent person. I love you, man. Confidence, self-esteem, flexibility, oh, muscle strength. Really These are just a like few of the benefits people the like time. Miguel gain oh, from EAP. For those with disabilities, it's not just about physical improvements. The simple act of being treated like any other person can make a world of difference. Ella is um, four, full of life, and um, she does have Down syndrome. Throw it. She's the love of my life. <laughs> Good job. Good high job. five. Can you give Miss Lexi a high five? What's been great is they've been so inclusive they don't look at Ella with a disability. She's, she's just Ella. She's a child that just needs a little extra. So that's, that's what's been, you know, wonderful for us. Yeah, we're gonna go to the blue cone. From adults to children to veterans, the wide range of healing clients have found through their therapy is truly remarkable. Servicemen and women carry with them scars and PTSD long after they've left the battlefield. But it's here, surrounded by horses, where those like Drew Gilpin, who gave so much for this country, can finally find peace and comfort. The thing that people have a hard time understanding about things like PTSD, it's not a broken leg. It's a process of interacting with what's wrong. And there's something about connecting with these horses that really helps our veterans process those events. I have seen people who aren't able to hold down jobs get jobs. I've seen kids who were struggling or not even able to be mainstreamed into classrooms to be back into the classroom succeeding, making straight A's. I mean like failing out, now they're making A's. It's total night and day. 
It's stories like Ella's, Miguel's, and Drew's that show all the staff at Refuge Services that what they're doing matters. With their help, clients overcome physical and mental roadblocks and grow stronger with each and every visit. And with a new building and continued success, the horizon is endless at Refuge Services. <laughs> we see miracles happen right in front of our eyes. Um, lives changed. Um, I mean, just two weeks ago, we had our Special Olympics horse show. And we had, we had 20 riders that competed. And one of the young ladies, she had been um, injured in a car accident when she was a child. She wrote us a thank you note and said that she had finally forgiven herself um, for running out in the street. She was a child at the show. So it, it was just a horse show to us, but it was life changing. For two decades, Refuge Services has been helping people in the Lubbock area. And as the population has grown, so has the need. And with the gift of a new building, they'll be able to open their doors even wider. One, two, three, sit. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. We started out with uh, like three horses in a corral. I know we have done over 10,000 hours of therapy since we started. That's a lot of therapy. Back in 1999, Randy and Patty Mandrell started out with little more than a portable round pen and a desire to help people. Today, they've got 40 acres and a stable full of horses and therapists. But no matter how fast they gallop, they can't keep up with the growing needs of their community. We serve about 160 clients a week, and we're at a point where we have a waiting list. You know, a waiting list is, it, to me, it's a bad thing. It, it bothers me to, to know that there's hurting people that, that we can't help. I was a chief of the Navy, and um, I was real lost. I didn't know what to do. One in 20 really struggles in their transition, and we hear that word lost a lot. Now, don't be fooled by the wide open pastures at Refuge Services. This is a nonprofit bursting at the seams. They're pressed up against the walls where it matters most, in private counseling and therapy space. Randy was evicted from his own tack room by the physical therapist, and everybody, including the directors themselves, shares one narrow office. Okay, and so this person is going to do therapeutic riding yeah. Granted, we have lots of land and we have sessions outside, but West Texas, the weather, when the dirt is blowing, you know, straight at you and you can't see your hand in front of your face, you, it's not very therapeutic. It's really hard to have a session in that. Refuge Services has wanted a new building for the last five years. Thanks to Mueller's helping hand, now they're gonna get it in just five months. It all starts at Mueller headquarters in Ballinger, Texas, where that new building begins to take shape. Just meeting the people at Mueller, they're just some really neat guys. And you know, a lot of them have been in construction. They're just so kind-hearted and wanted to, wanting to help people move forward with whatever they're doing. And I had no idea that there was such detail and intricacy put into making, you know, one of those buildings come together. It was absolutely amazing. It will take months of planning and plotting, meeting and measuring to prepare this gift for refuge services. But with it, Patty and Randy will be able to serve even more people in need. They'll finally get to their waiting list and they might finally have a building as big as their hearts. I think this building is pivotal. Uh, it is pivotal in the fact that it opens doors. It helps us eliminate the waiting list. That's what it's about, is about helping people. And so this will allow us to, to be able to do that um, at a whole nother level.
coming up next. The Mueller men will put up a brand new building in just a few days. Gather them up right out here, be fine. On a quiet Monday morning in Lubbock, Texas, Mueller workers from several states have gathered together on a freshly poured concrete slab. Though the sun has barely risen, excitement is in the air as everyone prepares to get this special week started. Take care of yourself, number one, then watch your brothers. Because nothing brings the Mueller men together like three days of construction. It's been overwhelming for me just seeing these Mueller guys that are usually in offices. They come out here and they put on tools and it's just awesome to see those guys and the work that they can get done. This is our 11th built and these guys are really good at putting up these metal buildings and we've gotten better and better every year. I couldn't ask for better people. I mean, we have blasts hanging around together. Work, work side by side, sweat side by side, you know, and then afterwards we go back to the motor room and we visit with each other because we haven't seen each other in a whole year. You know, so it's, we have a blast. And we look forward to it, it's like a company picnic. Well, it's all work and a little play at this company picnic where the Mueller men lift, hammer, and drill all day long, only stopping to bond with the occasional horse or two. It's a weighty task to build the entire structure in just 72 hours. But this moment is what everyone from Mueller has been waiting for, an opportunity to give back to an organization that so desperately needs it. It's very hard to put into words, um, kind of the emotions the, that have gone on this week. It is, it's overwhelming. Um, and it, it's just a beautiful thing to watch. You know, it's an opportunity for us to minister into people's lives and just love them where they're at um, and, and walk with them through that journey. However hard it is, we're gonna be here. And they don't always get that yeah. where people look at them a certain way or treat them different <laughs> yep how does that make you feel knowing you're going to be able to help so many more i mean very humbled in that um, but extremely grateful because that's what it's about is about helping people As these bolts and beams come together, it can easily be seen that this is so much more than just a building. The panels, purlins, hard work and sweat given by the Mueller men in these three days will allow refuge services to continue to provide a range of therapies. And for so many of their patients, that will be life changing. What they've done here, you know, with the refuge has been inspirational. They've been a great part of our, our, our village, so to speak, because it takes a village. It really does. I want to be here when y'all do the unveiling. I'm going to tell my kids, we ain't, y'all are coming with me. Yes, I want to be here. Just because, just like y'all are caring for us, the people here, they care for everyone. That's why I'm glad. I'm glad y'all guys. To be honest, y'all guys helped them. It helped all of us, you know what I mean? All of us. I'm grateful for it, and I'm pretty sure they are. I want to cry, man. It's, it's crazy. So, yeah, I'm excited for everything. That excitement fills the air as, once again, the Mueller men give a Texas community good cause for celebration. Let's give a huge hand for Mueller, these guys right here. There is no amount of speeches, applause, or presence that can ever show Refuge Services gratitude for what the Mueller men have done. We come together not only as a Mueller community,
but also join with other communities. And we, we develop such lasting friendships and memories with the people that we uh, award the building to. So with all of that said, what I'd like to do now is offer the keys. So Pat, here are the keys. As Brian Davenport ceremoniously hands over the keys to their new building, the people at Refuge Services are overjoyed by a feeling of hope. Give me a hug. It is in giving that we receive. This is a prime example of that. I mean, it blesses us beyond measure. And we want the Mueller guys to know that they are making a difference. And as a team, it allows us to join that, that legacy and, and continue that um, paying, for, paying it forward, you know, that, that Mueller has um, started 11 years ago and so honored to be a part of that family.